It's Mariana Lawrence met kunst en vermaak. Yes, Mariana Lawrence with art and entertainment and sitting right across from me because I have some very interesting young people with me here and one is a little slightly bit older <laughs> but uh, he doesn't mind if I say that. <laughs> He's kind of in between. But I am looking at Rich Rademeyer in this will like on you to see it. Ons praat altyd al met ons met mekaar. En Rich en ek was natuurlijk saam en hy het altyd vir my spasie gegeen op sy program in die ochende toe hy hier so was by BFM 107.9. Hallo Rich man. Hallo Tan, is goed om terug te wees. Ja, en jy moet daar praat tot jy kan hoor weer. The event is of course, it's a movie premiere and it's a red carpet event and we're looking forward to it because three movies are having their debut. There are quite a few actors in the movies but the ones I have with me, uh, Rich is one of them and then next to him is Sue Ann and it's Sue Ann van der Rooyen. Yes, yes. Yes, and Sue Ann and I have also bumped shoulders yeah. in other, on other movie sets. Uh, <laughs> on Sonny is dying. Let's but, not go. Yes. <laughs> because movie sets are interesting places. Yeah. yeah. Right, Sue Ann? It's the, yeah. Very, you very, it, very yeah. interesting <laughs> places. Yeah. Because I've been on several and yes. I know it's very interesting and it's funny enough, there's some things that are similar and some things are different. Yes. Yeah. Then, I have trained a gun and he is smiling there because he had to leave school. They let him go from Alex. I trained. No, ma'am. <laughs> you were in your class and you had to say, sorry, ma'am, I have to go now or soon. I don't know which yes, class you were in. I was excited when I left. And, <laughs> and of course, they were also excited because they know about you being in the movie yes, at your school. Yeah. Well, okay, we'll come back to you again. And then Tess and Blue Myers, Blue Myers. Or, or Blue Myers. <laughs> okay, is that how you say yes. it? Blue Myers. And Tess and you also in the movie and you and Llewellyn who's sitting right next to you. And of course, Llewellyn Primo, we also not strangers because he was also in another movie and movies actually, several actually. But the one I'm talking about was at the time, what was it? The... Verlossen. Maskers. Maskers van Verlossen. Maskers van Verlossen. Ja, de high movie geweest. En dit was ook een baie aangrijpende movie daar. So wat ek nou wil hee, laat ons gaan gauw om die kamer gaan. Let's quickly go around the room. And I'm going to start with you, Llewellyn. Because the movie that you in is called God Send. You and Tessin. Yes. So, do you want to say quickly... Just quickly what your character is in the movie. I'm Llewellyn in a ex spiel Tessin, Blue Myers. It's our pa. So as ek is hele interessant het, as ek die pa wat ek het is, is a alcoholic probleem. Ah, you're an alcoholic dad. I'm an alcoholic, ja. Ja, so fes, fes in my net, dat ek ook wel skies in my net. En ek dink my... And without giving away the story... Ja, but my problem is having an effect on your daughter. On my daughter. But I don't want, like you said, I don't want to give it away. Just give the audience occupied. They must come and see the movie. Come and see the movie, but Tess is my daughter. So Tess, you are the daughter. How old are you in the movie? I am... Probably 28. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, so you're not a teenager. No, no. Um, and my character, I'm more like a depressed daughter. Mm. My father doesn't give me that attention that I seek and I just go into deep depression. Because you're still a single daughter. Yes, yes. Okay, so you don't have a husband don't to run to. Yes, so it's the story that plays out between alcoholic dad and yes. the 20 almost 20, 30 yes, year yes. old daughter yes. which she's quite adult and yes. but so it has an effect and yes, we know that yes. from seeing around us alcoholics and mm -hmm. kids they bear the brunt yes. now Trent you are in the movie with the same name Trent mm -hmm. so tell us about your character so I'm not actually good at keeping secrets so I'm trying to not give it away I'm a teenage boy that's getting bullied, grow up without a father, and I'm raised by a single mother. You're raised by a single mother? 
yes, in the man. movie. So it's all yes, the man. dynamics that goes around with that. Yes, so that's very interesting. And Ridge. Yes. Now, man. you and Tyson in... Tyson <laughs> <laughs> is sitting on that side. <laughs> I just actually said to them, I wish I could have their skin color. It's so nice because Thank I can't you. even go in the sun and I'm oh. blood red. <laughs> so but so um, also the hair, of course. You know, that I'm going to talk, have a conversation with God about hair when I get to heaven. Why do Indian descent people, because he's definitely Indian hair, have that lovely hair. Now, to get to you, as to Anne, you and Rich. Now, let me ask Rich first. Yes. Well, that's my man first. It's basically about gender-based violence, if I can put everything into a nutshell, and insecurities of being in a relationship. Like that? Yes. Yeah. So, basically, from my point of view, it was extremely hard doing this character because it's everything I'm not. So and it, which it, you didn't see in yes, your family. I didn't see it coming at all. Your and, dad. Yes. and I had to put myself in this character and almost talk, if I can put it that way, but borderlining psychotic. Mm. Because so it's sometimes be interesting. Yes, interesting combination. So adding all of that in one relationship is the yeah. So you, you, you had to act. Yes. Your acting skills had to come out. I had to come out. Yeah, I had to definitely. nail all those That's studying info in into one. So yeah, 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 absolutely. And so Anne, now who are you? Maybe you know, because we find Jennifer. She was the bang young dame, but bang is it um to talk about her abuse. Were you abused by Rich's character? Yeah. What is your character's name? Um. Um. <laughs> She's really divorced himself from that character now. <laughs> I, I, I actually forgot. It was a while ago. It was a while ago. It was a while ago. <laughs> yes, it's been a while ago. No, no, no. The shooting happened and then the editing yes. and preparing. And now at last we're going to see it. Finally. Finally. Yeah, finally. But uh, so you were on the... Ryan. Right. Yeah, right. 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 So was Raiden the one who was abusing you? Okay. And that was for you to relate to the, uh, doing a character like that? Because it was, you've also done yeah, acting. It was an honor for me to play that role because I know my voice will help a lot of young women with fear to speak up. Yes. yes. And of course you've done acting as well before. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so your acting ability also had to yeah. yeah had to really be yeah exercise. but it was extremely hard on Timarion because the scenes were quite hectic and I didn't know how to handle her yeah. I didn't want to hurt her but he did but it much I, much. Yes. <laughs> like she came back and she's like I'm blue but, so I'm like sorry oh, yeah. but she's you know the thing is that it had to be exercised it had, yeah. it had to look real yeah. yes. and of course you learned about the pull and push that looks yes. like violence yes. In your actions, your actions have to be perfect. Yeah, but I mean, on film and on stage, there's a way to okay, make it look way. violent yeah. without hurting mm. each other. And uh, your acting now, to come back to you, Trent, because Mr. Everard, he's of course a good friend of mine, and you are, you mentioned him first when I asked you about Alex, and I said, oh, I know some teachers. Oh, Mr. Everard, he says, he's my drama teacher. Yeah. So <laughs> He's a great teacher. He's, he forces us to do work and it helps us like mm. a lot. Makes me nervous when I get uh, on that stage in front of him because he's just amazing. Yeah, yes, he's an amazing actor. He's an award-winning actor. He's an award-winning director, uh, Mr. Everard. He's been around quite it's a cool. few years. So you're, uh, you've been in school plays? Some school plays? No, school production? Oh, you haven't? You're looking forward to yes, that? Yes, ma'am. What grade no, are you in? Grade 11, ma'am. You're in grade yeah. 11. Oh, you don't have a long of yes, time? Yes, we'll next year. Are you, because he's doing a play? Yes, Into the Woods. Into the Woods. The are you in it? No. Nice. Ah, I know nice. about it, you see. I know about it. Yes. And your background test? Oh, I've been in quite a few films as well. And also my last one I, I've done with Full Proof. Entertainment is she said no. Oh yes, really yes, role. I yeah. know about That's that. It. it was a very tough uh, role to play as well. Mm. But yeah, I know. And it was that a, a different character, kind of, 
or was it similar? It, it was a different character. Yeah. With this one that's coming yeah. up now, it's different. It's different. Yeah. yeah. So were you the one who said no? Yes, I yeah. said no and I've had enough. <laughs> okay. From everything or did you just tell a guy who wanted to marry you no by the wrong? No, from everything because obviously in, in the, in, she said no, he abused me and no one knew about it. Ah. So. Were you married to him? No. 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 He, and that's even worse. He, yes, he proposed and I just I thought to myself, I can't take this anymore. Ah. So I would rather say no and walk yeah. away. Because sometimes it's easy to walk away. It's not oh, always easy. easy. It's not away. always easy. But you can but you decide. But you can if you, yes. If and then it makes it easier when Definitely. you decide. But we don't want to give the game away yes. all yeah. the movies. Yes, yes. It's still <laughs> like <a> movie. <laughs> Definitely. And now Llewellyn, your roles, different roles in films, because you've been in a few. Yep. Because you were, weren't you a holy man? Oh, a pastor. <laughs> no, that's Neil. You oh, Neil was a pastor in the other one. Yeah. Okay. But I played you, the, the, in masks, I played... Oh, you were the, po- you the, were the spearder? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I yeah. was an abusive husband. Yeah. Detective husband? Yeah, abusive on, this, on, the, on the side, yes. on the law side. I, I do what I have to do yeah. to keep the criminals. It by, yeah. But at home, I've got a different life. Mm. I abuse my wife. And and you were a confidence trickster because at the end of the film, everything changed. Yeah, it turned out very bad for me. But now other roles you've played that were different from detective roles. Oh, uh, I'm also start alongside uh, as a support actor in She Said No. Mm. Yeah. As a, and what were you then? I was a, I was a brother of the main character who's a uh, fiancé. And I was like the, the brother. I never knew my brother was abusive like to his, that. Yeah, to his uh, fiance because as kids, we, our, our father abused our mother and we, we went through a lot of trauma. Mm. And when he proposed to her and she said no to, it came as a shock to us all. And we couldn't understand, but as the movie plays, it, it, it shows the better how to mm. abuse, when it starts to make sense. But I was very, very upset for the revelation. Mm. Hey, why? What is this woman saying now? Mm. But isn't sudden? it strange how two children from the same father can be so different? Mm. Yes. And the one takes on that abusive character and the other one doesn't. Mm. Trent, now your character, tell us a bit more. How did you find having to... Oh, um, so I grew up without a father. I'm raised by a single mother. And I do have a sister. I'm guessing that would be my girlfriend. Like in no way. Because my girlfriend supports me and it's my sister. And I wasn't bullied, but I lost the fight by two guys, basically. They hit me. And um, I'm guessing it's kind of a interesting character because, like, we have things in common. Oh, okay. So that often works like that. So we're not going to embroider it anymore because they've got to come and see the movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So how, what does people do to come and Because it's three, it's a treat because it's three movies on the one event, in the one event that we're actually going to see and the date is going to be the 9th of April. The 9th of April, we're going to see this and we can get tickets where? Um, um, from any of us, you can search us on Facebook or you can uh, search for Full Proof Entertainment. That's probably the best. Yes, you can so message, you can you can message mm-hmm. 859 yes. say that yes. again. 082 Eight five nine one two one six. Okay. That will be one in Lewis. Yes. Okay. And he's the director. The, yes. Did he yes. direct yes. you yes. guys? Yes. And of course, he's also a film maker. Yeah. And full proof, uh, full proof productions is on Facebook, yes. so that you, it, can, you can go look there. And it's the the movie premiere red carpet event yes. and so it's going to be really amazing we're it's looking amazing. forward to it our time has run out now it's amazing how quick time goes when you have so much fun yeah because we we really need today to uh, talk and talk cool. about these three movies but we can go and see them one yes. evening so we're looking forward to just say the date again the 9th of april the 9th of april oh and what time and where 7 p.m um, and it's here where yes. we are in the green room here 
but it's in the little theater. Yes. And is. still tickets are available for one hundred. And there's still tickets available. And you know what? Our last person arrived. Come quickly, quickly, let's quickly. You got a chance to quickly, quickly <laughs> say hello, um, Lizanne. You've just arrived because the Uber didn't take you to the right place, whatever. We're not going to go in there. But you are in the movie with Trent. Yes. Yes. So tell me quickly about your character. Well, um, Layla is a very strong character. She is very supportive towards Trent. He's being and bullied. Yes. And? Yes, Trent You enjoyed it very, now? Yes, very much. And have you done acting before? No. She's done no acting before. Okay. And so we're going to be enjoying you. And I'm so sorry that we have to say goodbye. <laughs> because it's like, hello, goodbye. Mm. But it's a very powerful one, right? Yes. Right, team? Yes. Yes. And we're going to look mm. forward to, and maybe you can quickly tell us again the date of the movie. It's on the 9th of April. And it's here in the little theatre. Yes. At the end of Bird Street. That's the easiest way to find it. The end of Bird Street, if you drive in Central. And it's on that foolproof Facebook, do you want to give us the phone number quickly again? Let me just, just check quickly. quickly. Look at it. The number will be 082 859 1216. And that's where you can get tickets. And then you can see Lizanne. You can quickly just say something quick, last thought. You you guys can just come see me that night. I really am so hot right now. I don't know what to say. <laughs> There is a message there. She turned up. Yeah. So thank you very much, everybody, for coming. Thank you for and I'm looking so forward to it. And now we must really say goodbye. It's time for Mariana Lawrence and Kins and for Mark to say goodbye. Uh, Rich is laughing because he knows how that goes. <laughs> so Mariana Lawrence and Kins and for Mark. Arrivederci.